Using its cultural and natural diversity, Bangladesh is keen to attract tourists from all over the world as tourism revival accelerates, says Saida Muna Tasneem, Bangladesh High Commissioner to the UK, who led the Bangladesh Pavilion at the World Travel Market. In an interview with India Outbound, Tasneem says that India is the principal source market and Bangladesh tourism is keen to attract more tourists from all over India to explore the various treasures that the country has on offer for tourists. Well, um, you know, currently there are about 4 million tourists that are coming to Bangladesh. It used to be 1 million actually, even like before, let's say 2012, 2013, it was really poor. And you know, the, the fact is that, you know, today our stall's theme is Mujib's Bangladesh. Mujib is our, Sheikh Mujib Rahman is our founding father. His vision was a secular progressive Bangladesh and that people will come to see a secular Bangladesh. Now, what do you uh, uh, showcase in a secular country? You showcase your different uh, you know, heritage, your cultural heritage. And we, you know that Bangladesh has Hinduism, Buddhism to showcase. We, one of the, we have, uh, to our credit, one of the most ancient um, Buddhist uh, monasteries in, in, in Asia. And yet, uh, we couldn't really showcase it that much. So, uh, you know, I was just speaking to the 12 travels and tour operators that are participating in the, on our stall today. They told me, I asked them from United Kingdom, what kind of tourists go and what do they see in Bangladesh? And they said they actually go to see relics. They like the Hindu temples, Kantuji's temples, which is a UNESCO uh, cultural heritage. They go to see Sundarbans, uh, the home of the Royal Bengal Tiger, which is again a UNESCO cultural heritage. Then Sompur Bihara, you know, Mahastan Gar, and they go to see temples and they go to see tea gardens as well. So they go for ecotourism or they go for so this time as a climate vulnerable country and also as a leader, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina wants to promote ecotourism. And we're really trying to showcase the Sundarbans, which is a common heritage between Bangladesh and India. We're very proud of our Muslim heritage and we have so much of Muslim heritage to showcase as well. We were the part of the Sultani period, we were part of the Mughal period and you know we want to showcase all these different um, cultural and religious symbolisms in Bangladesh and the fact that we're a very inclusive tolerant society and of course the great Bengali hospitality. We have the Hilsha to offer to our tourists, we have different pitas, we have the rice puddings and you know we, we want them to go to uh, taste the Bangladeshi tea. The Sileti tea, the uh, North Bengal tea, the Kazinkas, the Chittagong tea, and we have so much to offer in the Chittagong hill tracks. All our small, uh, you know, uh, communities live there, the uh, ethnic communities, and they're so colourful. So we want to showcase everything that is, uh, you know, part of our Bengali and Bangladesh culture, uh, and we call it the Mujibs Bangladesh. Wise, you know, during the Durga Pujas uh, of Bangladesh, and you know, we last year we had uh, nearly uh, 40, 42,000 Durga Puja mandaps, and these are like big festivals in Bangladesh. As our Prime Minister said, that you know, Dharmo Jar Jar Utshop Shabar, it means you know, uh, religion, uh, uh, religion is uh, b belongs to the individual, but the festivities belong to all. So you know, this festivities is participated by Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, everyone, and a large number of uh, tourists from Kolkata comes. Where Bengal who wants to you know enjoy the Bang Bengali Durga Puja in Bangladesh so it's it's an experience for them people perceive that we are a Muslim country but when they come here and see the Durga Puja they they get confused sometimes when I wear a sari and go somewhere they come and ask me are you the Indian High Commissioner so I always tell them look you know we are South Asians and India Bangladesh Nepal Sri Lanka all four High Commissioners or if they're from that country they wear saris so this is something, you know, showcasing our saris also. I'm wearing a Dhakai muslin. So we want to showcase Jamdani and muslin, our Nakshikata. So definitely we're a country very rich in our cultural heritage. Um, uh, and, you know, uh, we know that every other country have their uh, cultural heritage. So we want to showcase that and attract more and more tourists. You know, there is this um, Bangladesh branding problem. And quite often, uh, you know, we are like uh, cut out or eliminated from the list of our tourists because they think, you know, we are um, probably a poor country, a country of natural disaster or a country, um, Muslim majority, they're a bit afraid. They have a fear. 
But we, I think Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina over the past decade, uh, particularly with the United Kingdom, United States, Europe, we've really established our credentials as a secular, inclusive and culturally vibrant country. And that's what we want to continue, the banding. I hope that not only Durga Puja, the Indians would come to, under, uh, come to Bangladesh to enjoy the Bangladeshi hospitality. Because we know the people of Bangladesh love the people of India. In 1971, it was Indian army who shed blood in Bangladesh, along with Bangladesh armed forces, and liberated our country and supported our war of independence. So we have the most special relationship with India of all the countries in the world. And in that perspective, we want more Indians to know this history. So Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Prime Minister Modi, over the past nearly seven years, have created this great chemistry between the two countries. And we have reopened so many cultural fronts. For example, Bangladesh House at Shanti Niketan, things like that, very exceptional. Then the Bangabundu Bapu, uh, you know, uh, digital exhibition due to COVID. And then, you know, the, uh, at the uh, Delhi University, the uh, Bangabundu chair. And all these are giving the Indian general public, the new generation, a positive narrative about Bangladesh. And we want to continue that friendship. So, you know, great friendship between Bangladesh and India. We want more Indians to visit Bangladesh.